Hello, thanks for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 8th of February for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. If you'd like to chat with me direct and have a one-to-one -one personal consultation, please see below for my testimonials and how to book. Also, if you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign, and embrace more serious astrology, but would like to do so in a more affordable way, please check out my special offer combination package below. You get 30% off, you get your 12 month forecast and your character analysis, all based on your time, date and place of birth, gain serious insights for the next year, but also get a lot greater idea of what really makes you tick. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 8th of February. This week begins with the moon in the part of your horoscope to do with everyday communications forging a terrific link to Uranus, the planet of surprises in your sector of relationships. You may find that there's some kind of spontaneous connection, electricity between you and someone you encounter today. It could well be online because the third house is very much governed, uh, uh, governing of uh, digital interaction. But equally, it's possible that you will just see a situation around a relationship in a fresh way. And that can be very helpful this week because there's such a cluster of energy in your sector of the home, family. So who you live with, how you live with them and where could be something that you're really thinking very carefully about at the moment. Some Scorps may be thinking about downsizing, moving to somewhere bigger or adapting a current abode. And if you are wanting to improve the comfort and fabric of your existing home, the combination between Venus and Jupiter is absolutely wonderful. And this could see you going online and finding a really nice piece of uh, soft furnishings or perhaps some decorative additions. And you may even find yourself actually painting and decorating this week. And that can be something that's very uplifting for you. Now, of course, there's also a new moon this week in your sector of emotions, but it's linking with your modern ruler of Pluto. A conversation you have over the next month with a sibling or a neighbor can prove to be extremely telling. You can gain a great deal from this. It may not be necessarily that they give you guidance. It could be more about just the ideas that you share with one another. Obviously, we're all having to adapt to the realities of COVID and spending more time at home is not easy for everybody. And if you're actually sharing your space with someone who is quite abrasive, that could be quite tricky, even with this cluster of very enabling energy in your sector of the home. Essentially, the more sensitive side of your nature is coming to the fore at the current time. But also because Saturn's in this location, Saturn is potentially about limitations, but it can also be about boundaries. So if there is someone who expects too much of you, and it may be someone within your family as much as your home, don't feel fearful about reasserting yours. It could be with the help of Venus and Jupiter, you can do it in a very diplomatic way. And actually it can align things just as you want. And that can really help you to surf this new moon in a very positive way.